Here we are uh, out the old airfields in the Tumwa. Uh, gonna take off an old Ford tri-motored <laughs> airplane that we'd be afraid to risk our lives in now. We were almost afraid then. It was just an adventure. Just uh, Darian and me. We were riding for a penny a pound. And strut of the plane uh, uh, showing in the picture there as we uh, uh, are flying somewhere uh, west of the landing field. Quite inexperienced picture takers then, and there's uh, a little uh, a farm, some farmhouses and a home. I think this was before we were married, right? Our pictures oh. kind of fluctuate back and forth in time. There you can see uh, just a little bit of the Des Moines River below. I would never know that was what it was. <laughs> it's since become a part of the lagoon here. This was before we were married too then. Yeah, this is... Uh, There's uh, Anna Mae uh, Reynolds. No, that's, no Phyllis. that's Phyllis. That's Phyllis uh, Reynolds. There's Curtis's twins, Daryl and Harold. Curtis was my brother. Who got the ride? You got the ride. Was that me? Yeah, that was you. There's Dale Exel at bat. Looks like he's just swinging it one after another. That's, that was me. There I am. Yeah. Dale's giving me a push. A push. That's Dale swinging there. Here's Dale and Lola Bell. Teeter tottering. Who is it? Who's the little one that was trying to pick roses there or something? It's one of the uh, twins. Another one here in the wagon getting a ride from Phyllis. And Phyllis. Phyllis Reynolds was my niece. June the 27th, 1939. There's Jesse Reynolds from, I don't know where he was living. Uh, he was living in Houston then, wasn't he? Right. Lois Reynolds. <coughs> and here we are having a uh, Travel down to Fairfield to um, the William Reynolds home. That's my mother in the very background. And Jesse. 
There we are looking at the garden. I think that's Mary. Was it? In the I can't see. So it's hard to tell. There is uh, my mother and mm. Jesse and Lois and. And Mary. Here we are, <laughs> coming up to the front porch again. Must have been another time. No, I doubt it. I imagine they're just now unloading. Phyllis, Mary. Phyllis was my oldest brother's daughter. Raised by her grandmother. Mary is Dale and Lola Bell's daughter. There's the twins, Harold and Daryl Reynolds. <laughs> which is which? I'm not sure. I think that's Harold pulling. We failed to say that Phyllis's mother died when she was born, was the reason her grandparents raised her. That's me, I'm sure, but you couldn't be sure. <laughs> you got beheaded there. Curtis, isn't it? Yeah. Mom, there's mom in the rocking chair. There's Lois. And and Lois and Jesse there's Mary. Uh, playing chess. Mary in the background. Concentrating on what? Was he trying to learn how to? There's Bell. Did you ever let, let your hair grow that long? Mm -hmm. There's my dad, William Reynolds. Billy, as my mother called him. Now he has. Who, who is it that he has? Uh, that. Um, that was probably Anna May. Yeah, that's what I was thinking on there. Couldn't call her name. There's Lois at the chess table right now. And Jesse looking up. And there is. Dorothy. Dorothy looking at the catalog. Concentrating. There's Jesse. There's Ray. The first friend. glimpse of oldest brother Ray. Fairfield? No, this is in Atoma, right beside uh, 245 South Davis. The Axtell. <laughs> Ray has the Axtell's dog under his arm. Must have been. Oh, 
Oh, this was just before uh, our Royce was born. Just a few days before, in fact. We went to Fairfield. There's Sue, Ray's wife. We got to Fairfield fast. Here we are down to the Burlington Railroad Yards. We should have some of my railroad sound uh, as uh, background here to go with this. Was that once when you were down there with Dale? Yeah, that's when they... Dale Axtell? Dale was fireman at the time, right? Right. Here we are at a, a Sigatomo picnic. Dorothy worked at Sigatomo. This was a company picnic. Out at uh, one of the fellows' uh, river cabins. This was before we were married, too. Do you recognize any of the people? I don't. I recognize them, but I can't call their names. They're out there skeet shooting right now. And Now, what is a skeet? Well, it's, uh, they're, they're actually shooting what they call clay pigeons. What's the, what's the operation? Do they throw they, a... They put them on a, a little spring-operated deal and pull the handle back, and it throws the, the clay pigeon out for them to shoot at. Horseshoes. Was that the picnic that I had such a time getting the deviled eggs fixed? Yes, that's a picnic where the just couldn't get the shells off the eggs without pulling it all to pieces. <clears throat> Some of the fellas have been out on the river in a little rowboat. Have you seen my boss yet, Mr. Vulcans? No, I haven't seen him. Uh, uh, I saw his uh, youngest daughter a time or two, Chubby. There's Dortha right there. With the white bow in her hair. And looks like a, a ball game in progress there. I tried it. That was me. There's Vulcan's daughter. Uh, 
There's Dorothy up to bat. I'm sure glad you didn't get a picture of me trying to bat. <laughs> I probably missed the ball by a mile. Sunday afternoon, uh, pursuing the pursuits of happiness out on uh, uh, a little creek here uh, south of Atemla, uh, out near what used to be known as the Four Mile Bridge on the old Wabash Line. There's uh, Virginia Longton sticking her tongue out and, and, and filling, her, the uh, filling her mouth full of and there's uh, uh, Leon Roberts. Uh, Leon Yates. Uh, Leon Yates. And Fern, uh, Fern Roberts. Leon and Fern doing something there. Uh, Glenn Roberts is helping his wife Virginia up and they're going to try to see who can get the biggest uh, part of that bite of sandwich or whatever. She wasn't uh, his wife at the time. Oh, she wasn't? <laughs> no, none of us were married at the time. There's uh, Glenn uh, pulling his shirt off. And All took off down the creek, waiting. Leon uh, uh, just about uh, finished eating his peach, which was uh, green. And then Alice Longton uh, taking a bite of something, which she just about got all over her dress. Mm. Virginia's got something on the bottom of her foot. Virginia uh. is the mother, was the mother of uh, Eddie Roberts. There's uh, Leon, looks like he's trying to get uh, fern all wet there in the water. I think we Fern just give Leon a good push to see if she can knock him down. I think some of them mm. tried to climb the cliff over there. Now, well, Virginia has just fallen in the water and got herself all wet. <laughs> Making fun of her. <laughs> Alice, about, Alice about took it. Hmm. There's uh, uh, Terry and Cook taking his socks and shoes off. Rolling his pants legs up to above his knees. Looks like he's going to go waiting.
Now here we are, uh, uh, Labor Day of 1938, getting ready to go out to Leighton Park for a little picnic. Here comes Reverend Longton, a pastor at the time. There's Sister Longton heading uh, for their car, and also uh, Jolene and Carol, and Lula Jean Longton. Lula Jean Longton getting in the car. Following us is uh, Ray, Lawson. Ray Lawson in his Model A. Here comes uh, Leon Yates carrying a big basket of food. Also Norton Roberts and the uh, Longtons. The Longtons again. The Roberts. Um, there's Gene uh, Yates, uh, Gerald Yates, uh, just barely showing in the picture a while ago. Sister Roberts, it looked like, is going to get weighed. There's a, a carnival out here at the park uh, this Labor Day. Here comes Paul Heckert and uh, some others. I think they're up there on that car now, bouncing it up and down. Whose feet all those are? <laughs> there goes Frank's drunk with Dick. Here we are uh, gathered around the picnic table now with uh, <clears throat> the Keith Carroll's uh, here on the left, and also Brother Long. Longton. Sister Yates on the right, uh, shaking a spoon or something. There's uh, Herman uh, Brother Yates. Herman Yates. Uh, uh, somebody's got him laughing. It like uh, looked like it, but then I saw, I thought I saw Brother Longton on the other side a while ago. Can't remember the name of this uh, man. He's uh, apparently been here for a revival service uh, uh, while uh, at the same time we're having our youth uh, convention. State youth convention. She was actually the evangelist. She's putting on a quite a little show of laying the law down to him, and apparently he isn't going to accept it. Real actors. <coughs> Virginia Longton in the foreground with the fur collar on. Well, here comes. Evangelist. Now we're in Fairfield flying a kite. <laughs> Somebody must have said, go fly a kite. <laughs> we were visiting my parents. There's Mary Axtell on the left. This is out in the these Logan School Ground, right? That was where I started school when I moved to Fairfield. About first grade. It has been since been torn down and a high rise is there now. As of nineteen eighty seven. Well, I thought we had. Uh, <laughs> I think this 
cell must have been cut in two or something. Now here we are uh, in the backyard at 248 South Davis with uh, 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 Amos and Leota Thrasher's uh, youngsters. Amos has got one of them there in his uh, arms right now, and there's another one with Leota. They're just about ready to uh, get back in their car and Those three kids were about a year apart, almost exactly. <coughs> There's Viola Yates. She had been married uh, about six months or so. Now here's a scene up at the church, uh, and another scene during uh, the youth convention. There's uh, Brother Coolidge, and uh, yeah, no, this isn't Brother oh. Coolidge looking at us. It's uh, Phillips. What's his first name? Uh, Don't remember what his first name was. <coughs> He was from Anderson. There's Gene <laughs> Dooley and... Who's that behind him anyway? Yeah. That's Gene Dooley. Yeah, that's Gene. And... Uh, Brother Bond. Brother Bond from Fort Dodge. Pastor. And there's... Uh, Dorothea Ware standing in the doorway with a boyfriend. A bunch of little kids. <laughs> Here's Dorothea Ware. Is that, is that? There's uh, Viola Yates and, and, uh, face drunk standing in the doorway. Here comes uh, Brother Longton and the Brother Bond and his wife. Here comes Harold Phillips again with the uh, man that was with him. I can't think of his name. Leon Yates is strolling up to the sidewalk here from on uh, Vine Street. Here comes the evangelist. Of, and now it's uh, <clears throat> New Year's morning of uh, 1939, and uh, here comes the the bride and her, and, uh, followed by Sister Longton. I see. Uh, I am there. Yeah, <laughs> there. Got me mixed up. <laughs> Longton and Dorotha Cook. There's uh, Brother Longton and Emery L. Cook standing in the backyard of the parsonage talking. We discovered we didn't have anything for dinner, so the pastors invited us out along with Grandpa. Now we're uh, uh, going to be looking at uh, some scenes from the Iowa Young People's Convention and later in Cedar Rapids. Those cars really look queer. <laughs> Now here we are at the Ellis Park Church of God in Cedar Rapids. For a youth convention. 
It was uh, a youth convention where uh, Tillamook sent their largest delegation uh, that we had ever had. Now uh, here we are trying to get a picture of Vir Virginia uh, Roberts sitting in the back of the car and she's trying to wave us off. Now we're out uh, somewhere on the road uh, near Cedar Rapids where we have uh, had some tire trouble and Leon's having to put uh, <clears throat> another tire on. He claimed to have found a tire iron in that uh, tire that went down, but we can't quite understand how that could have happened. Here comes Brother Longton and for the Coolidge, it looks to me like that's Rosemary, uh, well, who we know as Rosemary Strong now, trying to uh, cover up her face. She was Rosemary Enlow at the time. There's Fern Roberts and uh, Dorothy Cook trying to get a bite of her ice cream cone. Now there is Ralph Lawson. Ralph? Ray. Ray Lawson, yeah, Ray Lawson. Ray and Fern were <coughs> married at the time. Uh, who's that? Uh, uh, other fellow down there with the movie camera. Uh, there's Face Drunk. Weren't those two brothers? No. One of them. Uh, There's Rosemary again. And these are the Hills, uh, friends of of uh, Pauline and Billy Clark. There we are out uh, in the park along the river, uh, going to have some lunch. Dorothy Cook has just climbed up on the fountain along with Viola Yates. Real show offs. <laughs> what were we having there? Uh, hamburgers? I'm not sure. Sperry and Cook. That's. Uh, Marie. 
Oh, Marie. And then with the two little tots. Sister Longton there going there, and there's uh, Mrs. Paul O'Dell and Mrs. Therian Cook. And there's uh, uh, Brother George Miller uh, with uh, Marie Holman and uh, um, Brother Miller and uh, Gladys Ponce. And that was Hazel Hatt just walked off the scene. There's Moody on the right. You can't see him get much. You need to be up there closer. <clears throat> There's Clarence Ponce and his wife sitting there, and Brother Miller, uh, George Miller standing in the foreground. <clears throat> There's Gladys Ponce and Hazel Howe. And there's Paul O'Dell uh, with the uh, root. Typical winter scene at uh, scene on uh, near 248 South Davis Street. I think probably uh, out of one of the back windows. There's our old pump. I think uh, we must have been looking at the uh, Murray's chicken yard next door. And you must have been taking that out of the bedroom window then. Yeah, back bedroom window, our old back bedroom window. Where our bathroom is now. <laughs> That's the back, uh, uh, what was the Lawrence Phillips backyard. And across the street, Dale's first old Model T Ford. Tanner's house. This is the north side of our house. You saw the old garage out in the back. Had been a barn one time. This is looking north on Davis Street. This is uh, looking uh, east up at the corner by the uh, uh, old Davis Street Christian Church. Now we're looking west toward the uh, Stewart School. That would be on Wilson? No. But uh, here we are at the Davis Street Christian. That was the old Here we are back in the Tumwa at uh, one of the early uh, Tumwa Burlington football games at the old football field uh, on uh, <clears throat> right along um, Iowa Avenue, I believe.
Who won? Well, Burlington, uh, no, it was, uh, I tell them we'll beat Burlington there, or I'll be, uh, by uh, one touchdown at least. There comes the band marching down the field. Should have some band music to go with this. There's the Tumble mascot. I really wonder how come we saved this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think there were uh, several things uh, in our, among our movies that uh, we... Uh, real good, though, for 50 years. More than 50, with this. Well, yeah, I guess... Probably uh, something like 50 years old. Did we, did we uh, put the chicken fight on the tape? No, I haven't seen that rooster fight. <coughs> Final score, Tomo 13, Burlington 6. Might sell that segment to the high school sometime. <laughs> 